Look at this slide. You will have to have a special locking because we found out in our user study that the postman has to really hit the lock with a rock when it is rusted so that he can put the key and open. And study the user context in the toughest situations. This is a very, very important slide where we say that you have to study the user. Who is my primary user now? The primary user is the man collecting the letters, not the person who is posting because he is like, you know, has to be convenient to him. And the primary user's serious problem is during rain, how will he collect letters? And he has a very tough time balancing his uh, umbrella. Why is it difficult to balance his umbrella? Because the post box is tall. If the post box was short, he would have gone in and he could have taken the thing. Okay, and then look at the keys. You got 10 keys and he is fiddling with the keys to open. So we need to reduce the number of keys if possible. You can have a common key. So most of the check is coming from your study. And he, then he has to place the timeline at what time he is clearing the letters. And what is the next clearance tag? If he's cleared the letter at 3 o'clock, then he would again come at 3 next day. He has to say 3 next day or he has to say 6 o'clock in the evening. So those clearance tags go into the post box. So we study those tags too. A number of times you can't even reach the post box. There are so many motorcycles parked around it. How do you solve this problem? Is it the problem of the post box or is it the problem of the people? It's both actually. How should your post box react so that this person will not park his motorcycle next to the post box? That is our concern. So I have to design my post box in such a way that a person you know, has to think twice before he parks his motorcycle. And then the issues of problems, see how they put a cement concrete base around it so that you know, uh, uh, you know, the rusting is hidden and then in further rust inside. So there's very humid inside the box, it's difficult to paint. So here we come up with a check. What is the check doing? It is giving us a clear direction, basically. It's also telling us what the product brief should be, what you should do with the product. And it also tells us, you know, the design directions. Now, let us see what the check says. So, again, to the everlasting credit of Mr. Srivastava, who was the postmaster general in GPO, he gave us this one-line brief saying that if you can make it maintenance-free, it will be great. So, what will be our first strong concern? Make it maintenance-free, everything else is secondary. Then comes the long life and durability. Because it's a public product, it has to have long life. And then robust manufacturing. We saw all these problems. Your manufacturing should be so good. Your materials have to be excellent. So robust manufacturing comes as an important concern. Then you look at user convenience. The postman, for example, should be able to, you know, put it in his bag very easily. The interaction with the box in range should be simple. And also, children should be able to post letters. You know, it's so tall. The children cast post letters. I'm very happy to tell you that as soon as we installed new post box on the campus, the parents actually gave letters to kids and said, why don't you post? We got new post box on the campus. So you can actually encourage use of post box or make it more convenient for kids to post. Then there should be a modular design because we found out that in festivals, a huge number of letters come. So during festivals, you can add an add-on box. So we say you should have a modular design, a small one and a large one. And then you should have a unique identity for India post, least not, you know, but not the last that you have to create a new strong identity for India Post and you know and it should reflect a modern new image for the postal department. So the check and the product brief are very critical. When you make this list, it's very easy for you to work because you have a hierarchy of needs. So the first need is paramount and I will not compromise the need for any of the other aspects. The durability is very important. I won't compromise the durability from point of view of robust manufacturing. But robust manufacturing is important. I use the right material so that my durability also is there and my manufacturing also is robust. So similarly, the you know design and the identity. So let us now go to the most important aspect of a lecture, which is the creation, the conception, where we're trying to conceive multiple ideas. We group them into affinity clusters. We'll explain each of this term to you one by one. We create at least three concepts for every problem every sort of project we have, three concepts are a must and then we select the final design. So this sequence, for example, when you have multiple ideas, when you make affinity clusters, you have, you know, around 30, 30 ideas in each cluster. Then when you make concepts, you have one assimilated concept and then you design. So this is a very interesting journey. This needs specialized training. So now I've put up this slide specifically for you. And you can see that there are multiple ideas for each problem, but I'm only showing you one or two ideas for each problem. You can actually have 10 ideas for each problem, and that's what we encourage generally. But here for paucity of time and slides, I'm showing you one idea for one problem. Now, for example, you have this rusty and damaged boxes in this slide. So what's happening over here? Because of mild steel, it is rusting. 
So the best option is to use plastics which you don't trust. And plastics have round shapes. So that's idea number one. Rounded shapes, no water ingress. So number two is use stainless steel. You know stainless steel doesn't rust. And then you have flat boxes for stainless steel. Very simple, straightforward ideas. But they're only solving one issue about rusting of damaged boxes. Okay, now go to the next one. Rusty and non-functional locks. How do you look at rusty and non-functional locks? So here you're looking at in this slide, you're seeing how you can think of interesting ways of locking by using special lock. So that one single key the postman can carry and he can sort of go everywhere and use the same key rather than using a padlock or a uh, uh, lock. In this we have the seepage of water is a serious problem and the seepage of water happens because of stagnation of water on the tops, edges which are not closed. So you are coming up with you know designs which are rounded tops which are like a tapering houses. So you don't have any water see seepage inside. Then you have seepage of water again another idea where you you know make up for the dust in the box. So there's a, this is this idea is for the dust. Look at that uh, post box which is fully you know muddy and you no know, water is going in. So you need to put up in a pedestal. You're not doing something new. Your ideas are not your original but you're imbibing some of the learnings from other places. So I know that if there's a lot of dust and muck, I need to have a pedestal for storing. The difficulty in gathering letters, what are you doing? You can have a tray inside and put it in your bag or you can have you know letters stacked inside. This idea is coming from the check collection boxes. In the check collection boxes, you have very narrow box. So when you put the check envelope inside, it just sits already stacked. This is not possible in our case, but all ideas are welcome when you're doing ideas. So this is inspired from check collection boxes. Oh, then look at this wonderful idea for difficulty of collecting letters. They said make your door big because current letter boxes are very small doors. So it's very difficult to take out the letters. If the door itself opens like big, then your collection is very, very easy. And then for the multiple keys, there was an idea that you can have a common key uh, for a region with the same you know, number and same lock. So one pin number, one key will open everywhere or you can have a specialized lock which we already discussed. Cumbersome and time consuming installation. You looked at those earlier boxes which had these large cages which went into the soil. So you have to dig the soil, you have to put concrete inside and you have to you know, assemble them. It was bad for rusting. So here you come up with you know better ideas or you, you know, mount them on walls or you put them on you know concrete platforms where you just bolt them to the platform. These are not new. These are all coming from lamp posts and the uh, uh, street lights. You see all of them are bolted. So you can use concrete structure and bolt your uh, post box so that in case there's a problem, you can open it up and bolt it elsewhere. So there's an ease of uh, moving the box. And then if there is a the large volume post boxes during festivals, so there are two options here. You have an add-on box or you make the box itself large. <laughs> Look at the large box, square box. So you can have different you know, ideas for different uh, requirements. Again, we're looking at modular design. You can have a small box and a big box, you know, as shown in this slide where you have two designs. And today also we have two designs. Uh, in our country we have those small boxes which are in all the district headquarters and most of the villages the importance of the box not being recognized so what can you do for the motorcycle parking you make your letter box very prominent so can you make your product look important so you should have a presence it should make it look important so we have you know a lot of ideas for this very interesting shapes Remember the, the Nepal idea where they made it in concrete and large with a taper, good idea. So you can have different different ways of making your box very important. And then difficulty in bending and collecting letters. This is my favorite. In this design, the post box opens from the bottom. So what happens? You put your bag below and all the letters empty into the bag. Isn't that very interesting? So you can have a design where you don't need to take the letters and put them in your bag. You put your bag below and open the door and all of them come down. So that's a very good idea or put it on a pedestal so that you can collect the letters more easily. Poor maintenance makes the box looks dirty. So what do you do for maintenance? Have surfaces which are clean, posters on the letter box. How do you prevent this from happening? So actually you can board this off by you know yourself suggesting advertising. So you put advertisement. So the person who is actually putting advertisement will protect his advertisement so that nobody else will put the letters. Or you make it difficult for people to stick by not you know, by making the surface such that you can peel off. Because every day the postman is going to collect letters. So he's, he can maintain the box. He can actually peel it off. 
so you have to have a surface which is easy to peel off so those are the two ideas which uh, we came up with and then putting garbage and stones and crackers for fun there was a very interesting case where we studied that people you know because it makes a good sound before diwali and during you know uh, 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 people put bombs inside so that the sound is very good the posting slot was so convenient to put a bomb inside so what what is design cue for us inside so you make the posting slot such that you can't light the bomb and put it inside so how do you narrow the entry so that stones and things can't go in only the letters can go in and the bottom idea is uh, for areas where you are not able to sort of put a bomb inside because it's got a you know travel inside and then falls inside so it's very difficult to make the bomb travel inside there's a flap inside can't go in so you can think of ideas ingress of so can you imagine how you know challenging it is when you generate ideas for all the problems you saw in the field and is it possible to implement all this in the final design is a bigger challenge which we will discuss